Greetings citizens of the world. The media made the man who ran over the protesters in Charlottesville guilty already. But now some details are coming out that adds more to the story. James Alex Fields Jr. is charged with second-degree murder after the Dodge Charger he was allegedly driving plowed into a crowd, wounding several and leaving one woman dead. The vast majority of reporting on the deadly incident assumes that Fields purposely caused the injuries and death. The facts may show that assumption to be true. However, another possibility has been suggested, and newly released video footage lends credence to the alternative sequence of events. A video posted on Streamable reveals that the driver of the Charger had slowed down and was apparently calm, until protesters hit his vehicle with a blunt object such as a baseball bat or large flagpole. Close analysis of video from the deadly incident appears to show a man swinging a large object at the rear bumper of the Charger, just moments before the driver apparently hit the gas and hit the crowd. It is possible that while surrounded by increasingly volatile protesters blocking the street and his vehicle, the driver saw or felt his car being struck from behind, and mashed the accelerator out of panic. This possibility was previously suggested by a reporter named Taylor Lawrence, who interviewed several police officers. Lawrence was on scene during the shocking events, and was even attacked herself in the aftermath of the vehicle collision. She stated that mobs had already attacked several cars before the deadly crash happened. If you watch the earlier part of my stream you can see anti-right wing chasing after Alexis and throwing rocks, bottles, a shoe. This car was not the one that mowed people down. That was a different gray car, the eyewitness said. Anyway several police officers at the station here think the guy running people down wasn't malicious. They said the driver was scared. Lawrence posted on Twitter on the day of the tragedy, as reported by several outlets, including Zero Hedge. To be clear, the driver of the car must be held accountable for their actions. A young woman was left dead and others were injured, and that incident is extremely serious. At the same time, all of those accused have a right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty. A fair trial needs to consider all evidence and possible angles to the case. Conviction by the media and a mob before a trial is even underway is not something that belongs in America.